ช่วงนี้นี่นะเราสิโนบิวว่าจะเฮ้ยเฮ้ยโอเคอ่ะกันเลยนู้ไม่ต้องมาจอยน์วิ่งออกไปเชียร์ Hold on. You wanna be? You don't. You don't wanna be here. Hold on, Slater. <laughs> yeah, I gotta kill that though. Why does it say join? Take me there. You already okay? I gotta end this here, man. Cause I'm fucking up here. All excited. New live event. Let's hit that. Go live now. We live. Let's see what it do. Can't give you another live moment. Nah, it's gonna be cool. Yeah, but I'm. I don't know why. Listen. Yeah. Well, take me there. Okay, here we go. All right, family. Listen, you guys are gonna have to go to that link that's on my page. All right, I'm gonna shut this down. You gonna have to go to my link that's on my page. All right. You have to go to my link. That go to that link. That's on my page. It's Willie Slater YouTube. All right. Just click the link. Willie not doing too much. Just click the link. Okay. What y'all watching? I don't know. What? Where's Willie? Where he been? I'm finna shut this down. All right. Anyway, now I need to be able to. Anyway, folks, what's popping with you, Orlando? Man. Been a while. Coming to you live today, Thursday. It's a good Thursday, beautiful day out. You guys are not gonna believe this. I um uh, I had the pleasure today of bumping into the champ. The voice of the people will be in the building. Willie Slater is live with Theo Johnson. Believe it or not. What the hell? Okay, I got it. Anyway, listen. Well, let's see if we can go to YouTube and see that. Imagine Theo Johnson hanging out with Willie Slater. Wasn't this nigga just like locked up for like kidnapping and robbery and all kind of violent ass charges? Didn't they get this nigga like? Two live sentences, like when he like like a walking dead man. It is. It says I'm live. It says I'm live. I can't understand why I don't have any viewers on that. All. It say waiting. Why? Wow. Okay, we gotta figure something out here. 
Turn the camera off. Mute microphone. Lay phone. Okay, I see one. It says one viewer. Well, they come to be like Okay, then. I guess it just meant to be a B. You feel what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me try to go and see what's popping here. See, somebody is on now. I see three. Ask them what's going on. Hey, what's happening, people? Let me turn on the chat. Where's the chat at? There's a chat button over here somewhere. Please let me know you're out there, people. Somebody let me know you're out there. Well, yeah. Ain't a man. God damn. Like for real? Wow. Come on, viewers. All right. Listen, folks. You're going to have to tune in to that channel. Okay, I see two viewers. What's popping with you good people? We trying to get this thing here up and running. All right. So, I mean, y'all just give us a few minutes. Um, can you at least let me know who you are? Really? Wow. 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 All right, folks. Just work with me on this. Let's go. Why is it saying offline? Why? Something's not right. Do I have to subscribe? Subscribe to this channel? Really? Folks, just give me a second. I'm trying to figure this out. So uh, this is my first one. We gonna make it. We gonna make it work, though. You can blow it up. But it's still saying I'm offline, even when I try and see it myself. I don't understand. I mean, it says I'm live here. All right. What? Oh, okay, I see Ella. Wow, man, Ella. She says they see us. Damn, with him. Live control room. Okay, just work with me. The mahogany oh, board. Okay, I see Ella. All right, so y'all see wow, me? Wow, man, Ella. <laughs> she says they see us. Damn, with him. <laughs> Live control room. Okay, just work with me. The mahogany. Oh, okay, I see Alan. Man. Oh, all right. So y'all see wow, me? Wow, man, Alan. So evidently they still see me. Because see, Ella is saying that she see me. I don't know. Okay, just work with me. The mahogany. Oh, okay, I see Alan. Man. Oh, all right. So y'all see me. Wow, man, Alan. 
See, that's you. Just walk in. Yeah, so evidently it's going slow. You got to see me. I'm chatting with you. Let me see if we can do something here with it. And if you take them off, then they ain't going to be a whole nother code, man. Okay. You just supposed to let the people ride and let them talk, and we talk back. Really, but it wasn't. <laughs> it it wasn't. Good. Yeah. See, like here. Uh -uh. Okay. You just said that. No, but you're not on the camera. I keep telling you. Okay. You Resume hangouts on air. Yeah. You keep okay. going too many places. I tell you that you keep going too many places. Willie, the excitement has me consumed. You you <laughs> there you go. People tuned in. You got people looking, bro. We ain't. Okay, right so are we people. joining? I'm going to leave. We're already in a video call. No, to end that call. End up. No okay, then here we no go. Calls, All right, so here we go. So it says. So there might be somebody telling us that, 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 they, that they see us. They got to see us if the ladies that was in the chat. <laughs> the lady was in the chat room right here, man. I don't know. Let me see. I got a couple people I can call, but you need to keep all gas, no brakes going, you heard? All right, brother. And let the folk know what we were for and what we came to yeah. do, you know what I mean? Because, uh... You been missing the broadcast. I'm on now, baby. I'm on live right now. That's not letting me. I'm on live now. Hold on. You see it all right now, too. What up? Right, so do you, you, you can see though right now? You can see me right now. I'm okay, I see four viewers coming now. So I guess up on the offline, on it's saying offline, but right up on this saying what? Oh, the video, okay. Right up under it, it it's, says what? It's saying offline, but right up so. You know, let's do what we do. Oh, the last stream live? Yeah. On the page. All you got to do is hit, hit what's on the page. It, 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 they'll catch up. I will go back and tell you. What's happening, good people? Y'all know every time I get with Theo, the other side of y'all gas, no break, man. You know, it always takes us a long time to get booted and suited because my brother, he'll be so excited. He be ready to turn up, you heard me? He ready to turn up. So I'm trying to let him start to show up today, you know what I mean? So I ain't just want to be the one talking, 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 talking. I try to let him bring it in. You know, he acting yeah. like he this dude that uh, work on these houses and all this old stuff and all this stuff. You know what I mean? So now, you know, I try to let him tell you know what I'm saying? He's like, God dang, how in the world I keep getting caught up with you, man? You done been charged with all these charges, all this stuff. Now you got me going against the whole Orlando. So I think I'll let him open up the show. It don't matter. It ain't my show. It ain't his show. It's our show. It's all gas, no break. We got some topics today, some hot topics to bring y'all. I know me, I'm, I'm, I'm focused in on this clothing thing heavy, you know what I mean? I'm focused on post nightclub. If you know somebody that knows somebody that's of the LBGT community or that's, uh, uh, they, they going both ways right now. I think I got a message that they need to uh, hear. I think they need to hear and ask Buddy Dyer, Mayor Buddy Dyer, oh, no. John Mina, Teresa Jacobs, Pam Bundy, the people that's parading around the post nightclub massacre and the, the, the police officer that took down Omama team, but they also took down other innocent people which were of the LBGT community. And that's the reason they got took down by OPD officers that were now considered first responder heroes. How could you be a hero when you killed somebody because they were gay or someone is missing a limb because they were gay? Because that is what happened at the Pulse nightclub. That is what happened in the Marquis Lloyd situation. 
that is what happened in the rape case with this young lady who's been raped on mm. film in jail in a holding cell. Our chief of police, John Miller of the Orange Orlando Police Department, has yet to do anything to anybody from his department for any type of corruption, any type of subordin insubordination. Now it then came a big thing to me because I keep hearing these people parade around this post thing. They done made all these donuts and all these things. Not saying these people from post don't deserve no money, but they deserve every dime. I'm gonna smoke black, y'all ain't smoking no reef. So the person that sells more ain't smoking no smoke black. But now what gets me is the money situation and why what, 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 why is it so important to keep funneling these people from the post nightclub this money and it's so important to mayor buddy dyer teresa jacobs chief mina uh, all of the officials that you hear me talking about the regina hills all of those type of people it's important to them is because right now the city and and the county the city of orlando deserves the biggest lawsuit that they've ever seen from every individual that was involved in the post nightclub especially the ones because just think about this if you commit a crime after that type of murder or whatever they go back and recreate the whole scene so that you can get as you know they're trying to make a movie out of pulse in the situation and guess what else they got to recreate the scene but what we want to know is they going to recreate the scene when you got people like me and theo see how we done partnered up y'all know we talked before this show so you know the police that went to the move and made the move at post most of them talked to their partners and stuff before they went and made their move and they went there with the intent to kill people because they were gay and they can it's, they can discharge their firearms without being responsible hell be responsible for it. we are the chief of police right which is john mina he and, and and i'm not against police like that you know what i mean uh, i'm for the police because the police protect me even though whatever i got going on they protect me too but i'm against that against the system that they try to impose on my people i'm against them like john mina for instance why i don't like john Mina? john mina is a hypocrite he is a counsel to orlando city why do i say that john mina there's nothing that he's done that has helped the black community progress he's torn us down every step of the way john mina has torn the black community down why could i say that john mina's a bad chief some of these officers you have to like they got to be held accountable but then think about what willie finna tell you right now just think about this here. if you put somebody in a war zone you can't just snatch them out see and why i say that is because we're going to look at marquee lloyd situation we're going to look at the pulse situation we're going to look at the 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 the, 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 the uh, escape situation that i was involved in but the two takedown situations they were totally different but the police officer were put in the same mind frame what will he talking about when John Mina instruct his boys, he instruct them to go kill with that intent, nothing else. Not no takedown to go to jail, especially if it's someone. Why I say that? Because it's the truth. It's the truth. Why I say Buddy Dyer down with it? Her buddy Dyer the one called in the favor for John Mina to have Ayala removed off the case. Them his counterpart. You feel me? Why post so important? Because they made it important in the city. They made it that important. They made it real important. You know what I mean? Because guess what? The LBG community is so big right now. You got to prepare yourself on it. You can't even go against it. Because if you go against it right now, if you go against it, you already know you caught up you know what i mean so at the end of the day it ain't like that ain't what got me on it what got me on it is his buddy died gonna come out later and say he gay 
You know what I'm saying? That's why he own it so much. Or is it really the money that he's cuffing or what? You know what I mean? But we do know that there are several lawsuits should have been put on Orange County and OPD. Why he keeps saying Orange County? Why he keeps saying Jerry? You know why? Because when Marquise Lloyd got took down, guess what? Everybody house that got kicked in illegally without a search warrant, you have a lawsuit. You have a class action lawsuit along with me. I'm putting mine in. Here's the difference. Everybody that got their house kicked in when Marquis Lloyd was being apprehended, was at being looked for, you got a lawsuit. If your property has been invaded, your privacy without a search warrant being served to you, you got a lawsuit. Everybody got a lawsuit. All of us got a lawsuit. But we got to ride with each other. That's what Jerry Demons come in at. Because guess what Jerry Demon do? Jerry Demon put out, promote the same stuff to come to the ghetto. He in charge of Pine Hills and all that stuff. Everywhere John Mean ain't where you see an orange kind of sheriff at. Jerry Demons, the black man there. But every time the black people get hurt, guess what? Jerry Demon there, Cabarrus there, Pastor Cabarrus, he there, Mr. Fault there, uh, 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 Regina Hill there. Uh, 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 all the black people that represent Orlando, Florida. If you've been called in these posters and now I went YouTube, so let me let y'all know why I went YouTube. The mainstream media won't give me no play. They won't even, I done asked for an interview. If you done seen that your city of Orlando done took 11 and a half years of my life, then turn around and put me in jail for three and a half years, knowing I ain't did nothing what they got me accused of, why the new people won't come talk to me? Why? At least hear what I got to say. At least the city of Orlando should have offered an apology to me, like, you know, or something, some compensation or anything, you know what I mean? So now, there's nothing left for me to do but talk to y'all about everything that I went to study when I was in chain gang. Everything. I got somebody with me. Regina Hill get what she got and make Fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars a year. They stole the vote of votes. Theo is willing to go to jail for saying what happened, not lying on her, but just telling the people what actually happened. How Regina Hill got there? Why? Why is you so high on? Why you? Why do you be so high on Regina? Because I think my, my, some of my followers, they want to know that too. Why is you so high on Regina Hill? And, and, and here's the thing. And, and, and <coughs> can, for, can, you, can, you, can you try to keep it as clean as possible? Yeah, uh, trust me, I will. And for okay. those of you that don't know, I've known Regina long before Facebook. Long before Facebook. Long before she decided to run for city council. Hold on, we're going to get into that. Why is you so high on Regina Hill? She broke some broken promises, bro. And what, I mean, to what, be totally honest. And what, what, what those broken promises have to do? Bro, I worked <laughs> severely hard on her, campaign, on her campaign. I busted my chops for this woman, bro. And I mean, <laughs> knocking on doors. We, we so easily persuaded elderly people to give us their absentee votes, which was totally oh, illegal. Let me slow you down. What do you mean by give you an absentee vote? Well, when I knock on your door, I can be very persuasive. You 70, 80 years old, your you know, your kids aren't, you know, visiting you. So I'm showing you love, stopping by, making sure your yard is clean. Now, this is a process. I ain't just stopping by this one time. Right. I want to lock you in. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to make you feel comfortable. Right. Because you've never met me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then the incumbent, the, the young lady that's sitting in the chair now, Regina. Um, along with Sandra uh, Lewis and uh, Rita Hayes, there was a team of us that went out throughout the community, and I'm not just making this up, but we targeted the elderly specifically. Uh, is, isn't that the same thing, Buddy Di Buddy Dyer, our sitting mayor, you don't have to turn from me, I'm going to get with you. Okay. Our sitting mayor, Buddy Dyer, done the same thing. Buddy Dyer done the same thing, so you can't think this is like a joke with what he's saying or Theo's making up something or Theo. Theo may do have 
a personal vendetta against Regina Hill. He may do. Yes. And then we can show that it's going to take off. And we're going to talk about the city of Orlando, everything going on. And I'm going to break down what y'all news tell y'all. And I'm going to give y'all our perspective of how it should go and not just to have boo-boo part. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure you be better informed and better inspired every time you turn on and listen to all, grad, all gas, no breaks. Now, Theo here and Regina got something going. Regina is up for election. Again, again, why oh, they've oh, already started, they've already started knocking on doors, knocking on doors. So, the my job was, as I told y'all before, I, I, I ain't had no broken promises because it ain't like the money ain't still there. If I told y'all we're gonna power the kids up, the, some some of us broke the, 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 the party broke up that was gonna help get it done. We still, I'm still gonna put something together for these kids and try to issue some a couple dollars out. You feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, my job, I told y'all when June come, July. August, September, all the way to the time to get to that ballot box, whatever, whatever month it stopped, we're going to be on every candidate, and I'm going to give it to y'all all factual basis. We're going to give it to y'all about our chief of police, our mayor, our sitting mayor. We don't want these people nowhere around our kids. I don't want y'all even promoting none of the stuff that's on the news. I ain't saying that. Don't look at the news. But eat the meat and spit the bones out. If you really from the hood where you saying you from, you already know we ain't offer none of the stuff that they saying we get. We ain't seeing that stuff. I ain't seen nobody power up yet around our hood. Nobody. I ain't seen it happen yet. People saying we doing too much because we done went to the two. No. We got to go to the people. Here where the people at. We got to go to the tool due to the simple fact that it's him. It take a check to take a check to get anything started. Straight up. It take a check to get anything started. You know what I mean? If you ask for the money, the money ain't going to come. You feel what I'm saying? So the next thing to do is, if you vibing with me, rocking with me, rock with me. I ain't doing too much. I'm doing it for the call. You heard? Can't see the page. How they can't see the page? Where the page at? Where they can't see it? You got to go under the page. I swear you got to go under the page. I'm going to make that little post real quick. I'm going to make a post real quick. I think it's right under the page where you can see it at. Oh, but oh, we rocking, baby. I promise we rocking over here. I don't know why you can't see the play, but we rocking. You know what I mean, but at the end of the day, like I said, I'm, I'm 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 fighting for the kids. You know what I mean? I got my top off for the kids. Oh, I got my top off for my grandma. You know what I mean? Y'all grandmas, if y'all in, in the districts and y'all know how y'all how the elders been being treated. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's 2017, man. These people about to make calls that fly, man. They won't even pay by roads, man, but they making all the money. Robots. For real, they making all the money in our neighborhood, man. They about to make cars that fly, man. And around the patching the schools up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And they patching them up when I say patch. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But you got Buddy Dyer, I Mel. I, I, when the individual put me up on Buddy Dyer, had them, I thought they said he had been charged with. No. I ain't know that he had been convicted, yes. convicted, and convicted, and convicted, convicted. Wow, man, take over, man. I'm gonna let people talk to you, man. Y'all, yes. I'm, I'm gonna turn this thing over to Theo, man, and let y'all uh, vibe with y'all, man. I, uh, I definitely want to appreciate the say how much I appreciate the thanks and support. I mean, you guys have been showing us. Uh, I spoke to you guys here recently this week, and. Um, I shared a few things and I, I, I definitely want to say thank you. And I, I really mean this because I've been receiving phone calls from, you know, single moms. And uh, I had no idea the effect that what we were doing, um, how it, it it gave people hope uh, because because of their own situation. Um, Brother Willie was speaking about something earlier. And I, I posted a video the other day and I, I spoke with uh, Commissioner Victoria Siplin, uh a few months back 
and Jerry Demons uh, had a meeting with the with the county commissioners during the time that he asked for a raise for the for, for the sheriff department. And my question to her was, when Rosemont was invaded, uh, there were a lot of young women that wind up losing their housing assistance because they had a boyfriend over who had a gun or maybe a bag of marijuana inside their home when Orange County used this Markeith Lloyd as an excuse to kick doors in. Right, right. Which they they <coughs> they weren't receiving no tips, <coughs> but it was an illegal entry <coughs> into your home illegal. and in my home. Illegal search and seizure. Please. Illegal. And uh I, I spoke with some folks. My son lives in that area and he told me clearly, he said, Dad, they came back that next that weekend, that Sunday and hit by 11, by 11 people that he know. Yeah. Cabarrus told me they was coming back. Yeah, wow. Cabarrus see Rise was a part of the comeback. Wow. That's why they started Rise. See, mm -hmm. Operation Rise, it, it wasn't just started by Marquise. Mm -hmm. But Marquise's Lord situation was the ending of Rise. Mm -hmm. It was the first and last, that was the first and last. Think about your city. Y'all think about y'all city. It was destined for that to happen in Pine Hills and Marquise. Marquise is our sacrifice, sacrificial lamb. And in, in, in a sense, he is. He's a sacrificial but lamb. God let everything happen for a reason. That's why I just can't stop talking about Keith, no matter what he done said about me. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know anything about that. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, you know, he said don't like me since he been in jail see and that's what I, my heart keeps saying too are that. you serious yes yes that's what people told me when and so not people of several individuals that was in his camp when did you talk out. to him about that? i just nothing it was it's, there's still nothing at this point for me to say to I him i got you because got you. at the end of the day we so close that you're like right now yeah if, if something come out your camp right now uh -huh. i don't know because i'm so i my circle's so small right you might be messing with me, but everybody in your circle, right? I'm for real. There's people on I know you when I pull up in your whole team. If I don't mess with nobody in that team, Jack Cardi there with you, I'm going to speak to you, and that's it. Because I don't play faces. It's funny you said that. Because I ain't going to make you think. I've had a few people. Because you all right with him don't make you all right with me. That don't make you all right with me. Because you all right with Theo don't make you all right with the champ. The well, champ might not like you. Theo, the champ will spy you. Cause I ain't going to do nothing to hurt Theo. Cause I ain't got very many people that I say, um, down with. See, that's where y'all got it twisted and everybody else. And Marquis tricked me too. Because see, when you, it's, it's a difference between <laughs> with being down and all right. You can be all right with somebody, but you'll still have on your mind how to do it to him. You'll have on your mind how to do it to him. Yeah, what up? Yeah, who's this? Yeah. Anyway. Somebody doing their hair. Listen, Chad, it's right. interesting you brought that up. Right. Because I've had a few individuals in my ear about the voice of the people and what they say well interestingly we enough yeah, i mean we let's just we deal with, just, with that let's now. just deal with the news period oh sorry okay <laughs> I mean, okay you know okay. your record <laughs> thank you for tuning in too. Yeah. so i was warned to be very careful of with a slate. I said, I know his dad. They said, Yeah, yeah boy, you man. might know his dad. <laughs> we are two total different animals. Oh, we are two, we are two total I said, different animals. Well, daddy used to try to make me go to school. <laughs> we are two total yeah. different animals. Me and Slater is totally different. Let me tell you. Yeah, then they told you right because me and Slater, but they didn't tell you. You don't have to be careful. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because see, this is what the people would be saying. Be careful. You know what people say, I always say about me, man. Okay, we mess with man, we're a snake. 
We're going to do this. I've heard that. that right? I've heard that. I know, yeah. But guess what? I'm an African anaconda. I ain't a snake. I'm an African anaconda. And I'm for real. I eat snake, people, dog, cat, whoever. If you ain't down with me, you will get ate. It ain't no secret. I've but heard the that. thing about it is, I'm not a coward with nothing I do. Uh -huh. I don't throw rocks and hide my hand. I don't do that. See, that's what the difference between me and them cowards. Okay. I don't do that. See, that's the difference between me and John Mina. John Mina throwing rocks in her throwing. John Mina's a coward. The First Amendment was the freedom of speech. Yeah. So what they said didn't include me. When they call us animals, they don't come. We can't take them to jail. We can't press charges on them. So when I call John Mina a coward, coward, they shouldn't come try to aggress me. They shouldn't come try to arrest me. They should respect my mind the same way we respect their mind when they make every black person an animal because they funked out of bounds. I said that John Mina is a coward. He's a cow. That's what he is. He's a cow. Why I say he's a cow? Because he's sending them people out there to jump on us. Beat Marquis out of his head. They done killed countless black people. They got a young black, black young black people. They got a police officer on camera raping a black woman. John Mina is a coward because he's yet to discipline listen what he just said to discipline there's video there's evidence of everything i said is video evidence of the officers kicking marquee out and they came back and said that marquee lord did not resist in arrest so if your evidence for resisting arrest don't fit the call patch why you got a patch john Neal? Why ain't nobody been dealt with, John Mina? If you got somebody a part of the LBGT community, you got to ask John Mina this question here. Is them same people that you allowed to kick Marquis Lord out some eye, some of them same people that you let walk up to the Pulse nightclub and kill innocent people and not discipline them? Is these same officers, some of the same officers that's raping these little kids on, 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 you on film, on the news, Mina? You's a coward, boy. Later, Junior said it. You's a coward. Somebody sitting this there, 9 OPD. Get it there. Get it to the news station. You know, I'm watching the news today, brother. That's Willie. why we out here. That's why we live now. This is why we going from YouTube, from just straight my friends in Orlando. Because I only got 5,000 that's allowed to see. So we going to reach the world with what's going on How about in that? a part of the world. Do it what you want to do. If you're really a part of the situation and you're trying to help it, you need to log in, lock in, and tell a friend to tell a friend. We passed Facebook now. We on the tube now. Let's get it there with the channel, man. In the city. You see right now, that Pine Hill behind me. When you see Regina Hill, Buddy Dyer, all them, they done set their platform up or whatever. So they can come through with 100 police and all. You see me, I go right now and go walk around the neighborhood like y'all see me all the time, man. Politics with real people, man. They got real problems. They're going through the real struggle. They under real, understand the real hood. Him, it's real. Every day. You know what I'm saying? That's who I'm trying to enlighten. I want to keep y'all better informed and better inspired. If you own the tube right now and you vibing with me and you ain't told nobody, tell somebody right now to lock my dog in, man. Tell somebody right now, hashtag this right now, share this right now to somebody. If you done did it one time, do it to somebody else. Don't just do it to somebody. Send it to two, three individuals. Don't just put it on your page. Make sure you send it to somebody that's ready to lock it in and lock it in and ride. You know what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of people that want to sit back. A lot of people ain't got all gas, no brakes. You know what I'm saying? I'm all gas, no brakes. Why you think when they put me in the chain gang with a license in 190 years? I'm bro. You know how many people I'm walking around the chain gang with? People tell me, man, you ain't gonna never get out. I done filed that motion before, bro. I done filed that motion before, bro. You ain't never get out. You got me messed up, nigga, because you didn't win on me. I ain't gonna win. I'm a natural born winner. Now, I got to take the city and put it on my back because some of the people that had a chance to put the city on their back, they got, they got in the door and left the city. 
I can't be your commissioner. I can't be your governor. I can't be your mayor, but I can be your boss. I can be your boss. I can't listen, be none of that. Listen. Yeah, I'm, I'm a convicted felon. When they talk about me, only thing they can say is I'm alive. Why? Because I am. I'm hot like that. You don't see this? Shoo. I got ice on my hand and still can't cool off. I got ice on my neck and still can't cool off. Tell a friend to tell a friend, man. Make this stuff go viral. Y'all living it with us, man. Some of y'all been, I've been living it 40 years, man. Just a part of the plan that came in. We got to stop these people, man. Now's the time, man. Now's the time to get on the gas. Do not get on the brakes. That's why I'm back. I'm back to get on the gas, man. I'm back to get on the gas. I ain't back to get on no brakes. I ain't get on no brakes. I ain't going to take no pressure with nobody. I'm going to stay on these politicians here. I'm going to wait a couple more weeks. I'm just wanting it to heat up right here. So tell a friend to tell a friend in this spot right here. This where it's hot at. This where it's jumping at. This where if your son, your daughter, uh, felon, they can learn their right set. This where they going to be helped to really restore their right set. This channel. It ain't gonna happen like that on no another channel. Listen, this the channel is gonna happen on. This go channel gonna have so many different people and voices on it that you ain't gonna really really understand how is Willie pulling all these people together. Where they coming from? Where is he getting this from? This the channel that's gonna enlighten you to make your son vote count like mine count right now. I had to go make sure mine count. So you already know, Regina Hill, I've been told her, look around your office, baby. It's your last time when you said that Marquis Lloyd should have died to the hands of the white boy that were kicking his eye for no reason at all. That was the last time you looked in that office right there and you set up a plaque or anything. From then on, you, Regina Hill, Valerie Shipley, the reason why you gonna last because I can't control you. I done found out that the mayor got you, but enough of petitions and enough of me telling these people around the world with us telling a friend to tell a friend to lock Lil Will in. You gonna go too, boy. Cause they gonna make gotta leave. Sure, they gonna make sure we gonna make this stuff start reaching down the trunk, man. We gonna make it reach him. Him the boys of the people everything factual worldly now i'm accepting it and i'm gonna dissect it and give it to you hood news ain't hood news all gas no breaks i promise i ain't gonna get nobody a break if you doing my people wrong i'm gonna let them know if it's dirt on you guess what i'm on youtube now so now I'm just going to log you in, lock you in, go to your news station, find out what you got going on, dig up some more dirt on you, and what we do. Huh? Uh -huh. All gas, no breaking. You know when me and Theo get on your ass, Regina Hill, what happened to you when we do your all gas, no break? Buddy Dyer, you coming. So get your people ready. I got some for Buddy Dyer, y'all. Y'all got to make it go viral, just like I'm asking you right now. Make this video go viral. Tell your friend, man. Tell your auntie, your aunt, your uncle, man. We done kind of even got him to tone it down. He really ain't cussing, now. <laughs> he really ain't smoking reefer, now. You probably can listen to him. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to give you what you want, now. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't nothing going to stop me from being cool, though. Huh? <laughs> Ain't nothing gonna stop me from representing where I'm from, you heard? Nothing ain't gonna stop me from representing my people when I show up as Regina Hill, though. When I showed up at this spot, how I showed up. Just like the hill. Huh? Just like the hill. I'm gonna show up for y'all, though, and show up. The message ain't gonna change, it's gonna stay the same. And I'm gonna keep you better informed and better inspired. Especially about the city of Orlando. We finna let the world know that we ain't just a Mickey Mouse town. We mm. ain't just a universal city town. We ain't just SeaWorld. 
We ain't just Captain World Stadium. We ain't just Disney. We ain't Listen. just the Performing Arts Center. Listen. We ain't just I drive. people of pulse. We ain't just I drive. Listen. We are the black community of Orlando, Listen. Florida. What they get on the stage and parade around Rick Scott. Buddy Dial, Jerry Demon, John Mina just got three hundred million dollars from the gut from 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 federal funding. We the black people from this town, and we were fueled to only be made out of animals. We better than that. I know a lot of y'all better than that. I know some of y'all ain't never had an encounter with law enforcement in life, but y'all consider nothing. You know why I can say that? You know why I say John Mina's a coward? Huh? Because he treated Miss Deborah Clayton, God bless her soul, just like she was nothing. I had a patrol car two years before this thing happened. The chief denied him. But at a funeral, guess what he did? He pulled a Black Lives Matter on that lady, man, the chief of police. He honored her and gave her a promotion at her funeral. The chief of police. But then you got supposedly her best friend, Regina Hill, running around here. Now she beefing on Facebook with another lady about trying to pick up the ring, bridge the gap. Hi. After you done got on the stage and said that Marquis should have died to the hands of the police, how could you say bridge the gap between the ghetto? I'm from the ghetto, lady. There's nothing in the world that you can say to me. It didn't even have to be Marquis. It could have been any black soldier out there, or Mexican, a Latino soldier, even white soldier, because I got some white friends, a whole bunch of them that's from their ghetto. I wouldn't have accepted that. You say somebody should have died to the hands of the police. What you saying, lady? If you go to school and become a police officer, there's no holes bar. There's no law for you. If I go to, if I don't stay in the school and made it, I want to know that. What that? <laughs> I think that's a good question. What's that? What's the question, brother? If I would have stayed in school and uh -huh. did all the right things in life, mm -hmm. And became a police officer. Uh huh. Would it have been okay for me to just kill people and they would have protected me? Said that I'm a correct, I'm, I'm, I'm law, I'm a law officer, or bring up your past because you find a way to bring up your past because you've been convicted of a felon to say that, hey, that I was in fear now and that's my way. You didn't know who I was before you killed me. No. You went and found out that I had a pass and yes. throwed that up. Yes, sir. You did you did you catch that? Yes, sir. Do you yes, sir. do you listen to the news? Yes, sir. Because that's what they do every time with any black shooting with the police. Anything, anything. Isn't that interesting? That's very interesting. And it's funny you brought that up because I was speaking with you know some folks that I I deem to be a real reliable source. Uh. Officer Deborah Clayton was a good cop. I mean, a good cop. She detested bad <laughs> cops. She hated bad policing. So you know, that's why John Mina didn't like her. He, because he if despised you, if you, her. If you know John Mina, we going to pull the film for y'all and it'll be, we we'll have it ready for y'all like Monday or something. And it's going to be what John Mina had something going on in the police department. And I'm going to put it on my page today. Listen, oh, wait. He has something going on in the police department called the milk run. Listen, the police is used to go on lunch break and go downtown and ride down and look out the window and look at the ladies with the big titties and the butts and all that till they got reported. But around the whole thing, ladies inside of the department, like Miss Deborah Clayton, was reporting to John Mina, and John Mina would do nothing about it because he used to go on milk run. Listen, too. John Mina used to take the milk run too. 
You know what I mean? The chief was going him a couple runs. You feel what I'm saying? He want to look at them legs and them short skirt. You know the judge, the judge secretary got the shorter skirt in the coat room. You know what I mean? So catch lunchtime, like the police officer, they might think they protected. So you know, around who, who hanging out downtown trying to commit no crime? Ain't nobody doing nothing down there. So Listen. Everybody, everybody walking freely down there. You feel what I'm saying? Shorter skirts. You know what I mean? Now you got the police is doing what we do at the beach. See, I told you, you go to you go to school, stay in school, and get your police badge. It's so much stuff that you can do that citizens can't do. But it don't matter whether you police or citizen. The law is supposed to be the law. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I'm tired of doo being put on me and they telling me that it's cologne. All right. It don't smell good. All right. It don't smell good. Listen, as I was stating earlier, there's a book out that Deborah had wrote called Bridging the Gap. What gap was she trying to bridge? What irked her about the relationship between the black community and police. What bothered her so much? Sometimes, I mean, when you're just thinking about the Deborah Clayton situation, ask yourself the question, why was she denied a promotion three times? Why did Mina promote her at, at her memorial service? Why? She was up for promotion three times. She was denied it. Why? Deborah, they said, had crossed the blue line. Willie just said something very interesting. He said, would they protect me if I was an officer and I was to blatantly shoot Theo? And they find out Theo had a record when he was 17, 18 years old of kidnapping, armed robbery. Never was convicted, but I was arrested for it. Speaking of, I don't know if you guys watch the news, but there's a young jit. A young man a deal on the table for this kid about running over the police officer I know when you guys see that you're like oh my god he ran over the police but see there were some things happening prior to that if you look at that video this cracker pulled a gun on him now this is a baby he's scared for his damn life so damn right he better hit the damn gas that's his only damn defense is to get the hell out of there that's the number one rule in nature, self-preservation. Who told this idiot to jump in front of a two-ton damn car? You damn Nick Cracker, you don't get out the fucking way? But they talking about 15 years for this baby. That's dead ass wrong, man. I don't give a damn how you look at it. If that rich white boy can be rehabilitated and the judge decide not, not, not to let him go to jail, because they saying that it would, you know, mess him up. You you remember the case. Why should this baby go to jail for running for his life? 15 years and then the state turned it down. Because him and the defense in the state not agreeing on the 15 years. Poor baby, I don't know the child. But my, my mother. I mean, this child can be rehabilitated, <laughs> but you're going to stick him in the system? Yeah. So when he gets out 15, 20 years from now? Yeah, because you, you, you ask yourself this. I'm going to ask me, I'm going to ask Willie this for the people. Uh-huh. What is prison designed for? Come I, on, man. I it's sat, a revolving door. No, I sat there for 11 years. 11, 11 years. and a half years, I sat there. I'm going to tell you what prison is, and I said this to the viewers one time. Mm -hmm. I even told Pastor Cabarrus this. Which is an interesting brother. Very interesting brother. Yeah, Pastor Cabarrus has not been to see Marquise not one time. No, nah, talked to his family once. Yeah. And he only talked to his family because he came to my event to spy on me for Jerry Demons, John Mina, Buddy Dyer, to see what I would tell him. So I told him certain things. And he went on Facebook, this YouTube thing, and got on there and made a speech all in front of Miss Deborah's Clayton. In front of the car. A car. I and, can. I'm. I'm verifying and, this. And, and he was. His heart was dying for the community. But what we didn't know was Pastor Cabarrus was up for a position. At, Listen. At the NAACP. 
So we didn't know that because Willie was just, this is something that just spiritually happened to me. It just happened. Man. So I wasn't on Cook Bears. I didn't know who he was, never met the fat guy. And then I didn't even know he was a pastor at my cousin, Mr. Pastor Chenault Church until all of this took place. Mm. I didn't even know Pastor Cook Bears. Didn't care nothing about him. You know what I mean? I just knew I kept seeing the fat guy, bald head guy pop up on every time somebody get killed. in the Every field. scene. But this fat, broad man. I said, who this pastor dude is? He must be powerful. So when he showed up on the screen against Marquis and said what he said, Interesting. I, he, he got into the one-two with me, and I knocked his fat ass out. Interesting. You know what I'm so now I gave him a break because when I got him on the rope, right, I had him on the rope. You know what I mean? I was digging into him, right, because me and him <laughs> got a lot of friends. Me and his wife went to school together. So, you know, I'm digging into him. You know, I'm in him. You know what I mean? I'm up in him decent. You feel me? And he'll come to my, to, my, to my thing. So I back up off the road. I let the road, let the ref call the time out on him. Let him get himself together. Give him eight me? seconds. Again, what, what you, what you, what, what's up with you, boy? You know what I mean? Like, I get him in the ring because he come like he come on some one-on-one. -on -one. If you call me out, I'll be there. So you here, fat boy, what's up? I'm, I'm gonna ease up off you so I go to plan with him. You know, I do all this on him, you know what I mean? You hit me? I'm just playing with the fat boy. What's up with you? You know what I mean? I got yada yada this going on, yada yada this. What about this? Yada yada this. Yada. I know that he finna go translate everything I just said back to them. And he get on the TV and do just that. So he let me know the same thing that they told Theo I am a snake. That's what he was. That's why I put him in my mouth like I told y'all and Theo. I'm an African anaconda, the baddest snake in the jungle. I put him in my mouth and ate him. He's still sitting here. He said ate him. He, he still, got that from his grandma. He he's said, still Eddie. sitting here. I ain't spitting my <laughs> or shit him out yet. He's still sitting here. Pascal Barrett. I'm niche up to put on him. Like I say, he all at Jones High. The same thing what got me to these supposed to be street dudes, which got me on Emory Mario James. Listen. You know him, which got me on Jabaris Nathan Armstrong. You Listen. Know what I'm when you tell the kids something, right? When you promoting yourself, right? Anytime you start branding yourself, right? Brand yourself where nobody can't unbrand you. So you go on ahead and put out everything that you know is factual, that's bullshit. You don't have to come by and clean it up. See, Mario Emory James, why he ain't right? Because he the police. You been the police. You been the police before you turn on Kurt. Mario, street nigga, he claim he is one of the big dudes in Orlando. You the shit eat the earth. From Orlando has an event coming up in a couple days. He got a big July the eighth. It might have a couple people there, but I'm gonna tell you this: the, the care, I'm care tell you something. Him. If you following Mario Emory James, I'm one to tell you, God is not gonna bless that movement because he's yet to come out and be real with you. He's still living a lie. You're living a lie when you believe somebody else's lie, which is why Regina Hill has de de deceived all the old people because she had them living a lie because she has been living a lie. This is what the news is for. Channel 9, Channel 6, Channel 13, whatever news that you got, they want to convince you to live and believe the lie that's on the screen which is what brings me to all gas no breaks little willie and theo we don't want you to live a lie we want you to be better informed and better inspired and we're gonna tell you the truth it don't even matter if it might cause us to go to jail look my dog theo ready to go burn out right now and i'm gonna help him burn out if they come get him for the voter fraud with regina hill we just want to see the people, let the people see some justice be done. We don't care. Run it. Come Run on. Run it. Run it. They want to project, protect Regina. That's why ain't nothing happened to Theo. Why they ain't arrested me? Why they ain't arrested me? Because Regina Hill know too much. Huh? Regina Hill know Come too on, much. Man. About it ain't that. Uh, okay, if I'm just making false accusations. And we cyber bullies, yeah, off of false accusations, yeah. Why Come nobody on. ain't went to jail yet, yeah? 
is somebody that went so far <laughs> as to make a YouTube page in my name and post a video of Regina drunk. Uh, no! Yeah. <laughs> when I was doing it here, I found it. I went, who put this up? <laughs> it's in my name. I seen one with your name with like 13,000. Now I put that one up. <laughs> but I put that one up. I put that one up. And you know, funny thing, <laughs> I listen, listen, listen. I'm a, I can't share that there with you. But I'm originally the one, the first to put the video out there. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you how I got well, it. Well, listen, we're going to never tell that. Bro. All praises be yeah, to yeah, Allah. That's why all praises go to God. And he say, I lie, I say God. So we, we remember everybody. We remember everybody. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Don't you never tell me yourself. Even if I ain't where you were. You won't, you won't we, get that out we of We put the video up, and no yeah. matter where we got it from, you will never know. We like WikiLeaks. We WikiLeaks. You can tell us We WikiLeaks. I'm not telling on nobody. They we, know that. We they just come on. They, they just shot me in the cell for three and a half years at Ice Hole. I ain't doing no breaking and no shaking. Whatever you do, come on, man. Suit it up. You gave me a life sentence for nothing. And I shot 11 nothing. and a half years to tell you that I, I told you the same thing 11 and a half years ago. I ain't did nothing, man. Why y'all got me sitting in jail? And y'all won't even tell me sorry. You won't <laughs> even give me 50000 of the $277,000 I spent in lawyers to tell you that I am an innocent young black man. Do not give me this cold case, man. Listen, you can't get nobody else. Leave the case cold. Don't give it to me. Don't give me your cold case. I don't want it. Leave it cold. But we got some cold cases that don't supposed to be cold people. They brand new. It's people looking. Tell a friend to tell a friend right now to lock me in. Tell the LGBT, whatever that community called. We got some recent cold cases, people that don't supposed to be cold, and the police officers supposed to be in jail. They shouldn't even have to like, you know what? You know how when they do the um the Rico act on people? Oh yeah. I'm familiar with it. They just knock on people's doors and start arresting them. Yeah. That's what's supposed they ain't to happen. They got to have they, no they, evidence. No, 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 no. <laughs> they have evidence. They just have word of mouth. It may be a little bit, but tell it that. Yeah. That's even better. Uh-huh. Because when you look at post. The post nightclub shoot, you got evidence to you go to evidence. the door, not with a Rico act, but with a warrant for a police officer, or you can simply wait till he come on his ship and say, turn around. You've been arrested for <laughs> murder. For murder. The ballistics show that you discharged your firearm unlawfully. Because some of them firearms was discharged. Listen. They were discharged. Say that. They were discharged unlawfully, man. I just told these people to tell the people of the LGBT community, they got somebody, which is me now, or it's going to be the voice for them too. And I ain't gay. So I got, what you I telling got, me? I got a background OPD for the gang. OPD a lot of them people. Man, OPD shot and killed a lot of them people. Oh my listen, oh mama teen didn't shoot and kill all of them. Listen, you can't justify some of them bullets that went inside of the post nightclub. You can't justify them because if you look at statistical facts and what they say, the news, oh mama teen was picked inside of the bathroom for a good period of time, and bullets were still going in that club, and people were still dropping. Listen, I'm not he's not making this up. I swear to God, he's not making this up. You can research this. You can verify it. You know what I'm saying? You got a smartphone. You got your laptop. You got a PC. I swear to God, man, he, he, he's not making this up. This is what they're saying. They you know said they this. They, they said, said this. this. Willie and Theo not saying this. Yeah, they said this. They said this. All the stuff they say. Not me. I mean, not yeah, Willie. They, I ain't they this saying stuff this. Up. You can't make this stuff up, man. You yeah. can't make it up with technology so good right now. You can't make it up right now. Just like right now, I can pull up right now. All y'all too. Go pull up John Meaning when he first made the statement about Marquis. Listen, go pull it up. He never came back and addressed the public yet about his false accusations and stuff that he made. Marquis Lloyd, he's suffering minor injury, twenty-three hours of surgery, minor injury, minor. 
Marquise finally get his shot to go to court. Marquise tell the word, hey, man, hey, man, my I was laying on the table when I was in, in the interrogation. They would beat me, man. They burnt me through my jaw, man. That spot y'all see on my face, they burnt me, man. John Mina come back. You can't listen to nothing Marquis Lloyd say. He's a cop. Cabarrus, that don't bother you? So that 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 Mina, I mean, they treated him like this? Yeah. That don't bother you, Roundtree? That don't bother you, Pastor Justin Fulton, when you showed up at the ride shit? That don't bother you at all, Pastor? See, Marquis is a an American citizen. Mm -hmm. He is innocent until proven guilty. And John Mina... You instructed your officers to uh, implement their own law. Listen. You implemented it. When you told them that it's by on site, by all means necessary. Listen. Green by light. By all means necessary. Green light. Green light. That's what I meant. But you hope because of Marquis for being the dickhead he was putting out on posts and whatever, if it was him. Cause I ain't gonna accuse him of nothing until you prove whatever you say he done. He never said it. No, he he said he was at Sade no, House. No, but his good police work. Remember what? Oh he said yeah. What captured? Marquis. That's what captured it. His good police work. Yeah. You knew. Yeah, you, right. You never. But it don't matter if it was a snitch or, or or it was good police work. You knew you had one man cornered off by a hundred and fifty police officers and two helicopters. Two. You had one helicopter instructed not to camera the, the, the takedown. But one man, the man that Mr. Mina may resign now, that yeah. was driving the sheriff's helicopter that worked for OPD. You say he, he resigned. He, yeah, he resigned. I know he resigned. Yeah. I got his name and everything. He may be a stool pigeon, but yeah. he's supposed to be yeah. resigned. Yeah. But he's resigned. John Mina has yet has yet listen has yet to come and address the public the people that he represents the nation for a takedown that was unnecessary and now was unlawful if marquise wasn't the dummy he was he is he'll have willie fighting hard for him because like i'm finna share with y'all because even though he my dog and he said what he said. He's still my dog. You Listen. Some of y'all can get the word of him and his lawyer. And I'm going to get it out for him. Even if you done seen the video on that jump since I've been talking. Remember I told y'all the day. The only time you see me in the courtroom with Marquis family, God sent you a symbolical message. And he was telling me and y'all I was finna get off the book because I was doing this. I was being funny and waving at the camera. I actually was telling the people, hey, how y'all doing? And being funny too. But what God was telling me was time to sit down and think. Because everything came out about Marquis. You feel what I'm saying? Interesting. But interesting. It wasn't to say bye. It was time to sit down and analyze what I was doing, what the cause was for, and who was it going to be for. I'm not going to leave anybody that joined the fight to help Marquis in the blind because you maybe can help him with the information I was going to help him with. You feel me? And it's my job to give it to the people. And Willie, Willie, can I enter in a lock and say something here real quick? I want to let you know, like I said, and, and you've heard me say this on my, my own post, my own page. I know Marquis, but he... Him and my little brother are the same age. They know each other. So I'm involved in this not because I'm free my nigga, free Marquis, uh, free my dog. That no. That ain't even the fight. No. Because if they do it to him, they going to do it to Theo. They're they going to do it to you. And they already done it to me. It, it's proof. Right here, they've already done it to Brother I Willie. 14 I, I, years. 14, 15. Years have been out of his damn life for nothing, and only to, so listen, only to be proven in the court of law innocent, and nobody's even said sorry. Or Mr. Slato, how much compensation, how much you spent in lawyers, or or what could we do to help prepare you in a life out here? 
What do you need to get started with? What can we do to help wow. you? Do you wow. need any type of wow. counseling? They, I signed up for wow. food stamps. They tell me I got to go do community service to get food stamps. Cracker, you took 15 of my years. You ain't going to give me free food out here. I already can't start a career. I'm 39 years old. going to be 40. What am I going to do for a career? You ain't going to give me food stamps. I can't eat. I got to go volunteer. Man, and then you're going to tell me if I put a rock in my pocket. Not saying I'm going to sell no dope. Not saying that. But you're going to tell me if I sell dope, I'm going to get five years. But, but you if can I, sell but weed. If I, no, no, not that they can sell weed. I can do what Buddy Dyer done. That's a felony 3-2. I can find me a scheme and find a way to get inside of the public officials office and make over a hundred thousand dollars and it 100. carry the same time as a possession of cocaine five years. Listen, people, listen at what he just said. The charge carries the same time. Buddy Dyer was found guilty. Guilty of what I did along. Listen, I swear to God, where's my paperwork? No, I'm not kidding you. Rita Hayes, Sandra Lewis, Buddy Guy, El, the, the guy, El, remember the guy, the black guy, yeah, the king, the the king, king, of, king of the absentee vote. All of us work together. I'm not making this shit up. You think I just found these people name out of the blue? <coughs> Hold on. Hold on. <coughs> but <coughs> at the end of the day, Theo <laughs> Johnson, I want y'all to tell a friend to man. They got a worldly platform. I had to get to the world. I got to reach the world, man. They did they did ugly things to me. And we have a young lady that I want to um This is sure. from the city clerk's office. Theo Johnson committed that voter fraud with Regina Hill. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am, you honor. Yes, I committed voter fraud instructed by Regina Hill, who is now the sitting commissioner of District, there, of District 5. There it is on video. <laughs> Why them crackers won't arrest me? Because Buddy Dyer has a hidden agenda with Regina Hill, people. That's why they don't be stupid. That's why they ain't asked her to step down after you see she in Paris. Listen. I got a video of There is a law that states no public official can be publicly intoxicated. If so, they lose their job. You going to tell me this a video diary of your daughter? But you never mentioned your daughter and you mourning Deborah Clayton. You never mentioned Deborah Clayton. You remind me of when we spent nights together behind the green parrot and up under the bridge on Pamo. That's what you remind me of when you was tweaking. What? Yeah, that was power <laughs> to the people. <laughs> power to the people. <laughs> These are names <laughs> of the names people that we collected. These are voters' names. These are people that was canvassing. You see right there? That says Rita Hayes. That name right there, that's Rita Hayes. This person worked along with Regina Hill. Willie, you got the other copies. Look. That's Rita Hayes. Rita Hayes and Sandra Sandra Lewis worked along with us. With with, listen. Oh man, I mean, I, I ain't no Cobb Show was in here. Man. Yes. Got, uh, oh man, Cobb Show, y'all in here too, man. And we, Ivy Lane, man. We Boy, all up and down on there, man. Man, come on, Theo, y'all ain't. Bro, like that, I'm man. knocking on doors. Like, listen, Willie. Like I'm they not. Bad, man. I'm sitting here looking at. The table, I'm not. Man. This is it's, look, it's Orlando Cobb, City man. Clerk. Orlando. Possible civil rights violation. I'm all of these are documents. And we're gonna be sharing. I swear to tell the truth and, and nothing but the truth. And I'm gonna be sharing. 
That's the Regina old Hill committed old voter gas fraud. Gas Theo old Johnson old helped gas. her. All gas. We all gas. going to jail. Everybody yeah. go to jail. I'm snitching. I'm snitching. I don't know that about that. Theo snitching. I don't know that about that. I ain't I don't snitching, bitch. I'm telling the truth. I don't know that I'm Theo Johnson. I, oh, I'm confessing okay. my heart. I want to be oh, saved now, so <laughs> I'm confessing my sins. I don't know that we have a part of sin. All that, all I'm that. confessing my sins. These are this is Theo Johnson's sins right here. We're <laughs> Regina Hill. Oh, here he is right here. Ellie Thomas. See, Ezzy Thomas right there. It said an election probe and civil suit focus on Ezzy Thomas. I'm not making this up, folks. Theo Johnson and Regina Hill committed voter fraud. You honor, I swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> so help me, you honor. That bitch is guilty as charged, you honor. And listen to me. I'm a I'm snitching. I'm telling the truth. I'm no, pointing man, the fingers. Right, I'm in the court like this. I'm in the court like this. That's her right there. She paid me to commit voter fraud to convince the elderly. Voter fraud is serious. You got a big sign up. People, District 5, Theo has been saying this. Why won't they arrest Regina? Or why won't they arrest Theo? And they know where I'm at. They ping Marquis. <laughs> so why they ain't ping Theo? Because they don't want Regina ass out the seat. <laughs> Buddy Dyer has a hidden agenda with Regina. I got to believe that. Too. I'm telling you, if you got a person saying this and I'm willing, I swear to tell the truth. Right now, you going down. You better find a babysitter for Poppy. Because when they knock on my door, I'm snitching. <coughs> I'm turning state. That document four. <coughs> See that? That document four. I'm turning state evidence. Uh -oh. I'm asking for immunity. Uh -oh. The feds going to give me immunity. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I can't do no time. I'm sick. My mama just passed. Uh, my dad's sick. I got to take care of my elderly dad. <laughs> uh -oh. nah, my dad already gone. They going to another assignment but anyway all bs aside oh, right. all bs aside regina okay you say theo full of shit you I for, forbid my language you say theo full of crap right theo's a liar take that drug test don't take no piss test we want <laughs> since you're a public official you know how they do the government y'all do blood and hair sample we want a blood and hair sample yeah, let's do blood and hair sample, baby. Let's do blood and hair sample, Regina. Yeah. Yeah, let's do blood and hair sample, honey. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Brother Willie talked about some 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 key issues earlier, and I I I wanna I wanna say some things. Um. I had, like I said earlier, I had no idea the magnitude of the people that we were reaching. There is a young uh, mother whose son is being charged with first degree murder. And uh, he's a minor, but they're charging him as an adult. I've shared this story on my page. And this lady don't have the money to uh, fight like Brother Willie did and fought to get out. And I, listen, here's what's really interesting about this case. There's video evidence to prove that her son is innocent, but the state refuses to use it. There is a sworn statement from the guy that actually did the crime. Dang, there's, I saw, I saw the sworn statement and she sent it to me. There's a sworn statement from the guy that actually pulled the trigger. There's video evidence of the guy pulling the trigger. But they are charging her son with first degree murder. She needs our help. Ke Kevin Cabarrus, I know you and I, and I, I've accused you. Well, I accused you of it, but it is true. You did cheat on your wife, Deirdre. 
You do have a baby outside of your marriage. You Dad, did get kicked out of nine. Dad, ten. he feels to recognize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The baby mama is like really sad that you don't break bread. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you 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 did get kicked out of nine ten West Livingston because ain't no ten like nine ten. <laughs> so you did get kicked out of that church and you started the Impact Church and what kind of impact it has had? I have no idea. But Kevin Cabarrus, you your wife told me. She said, Theo, please, he, you know, he's the voice of the community and use the, okay, if you're the voice of the people, I'm asking you. No, 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 hold on. That's what they said. No, oh, not the voice of the people. Please forgive me. He's the community pastor. That was the term. Yeah, please okay, forgive yeah, me, Willie. Yeah, no, no, you're no, right. Yeah, please yeah, forgive me. Yeah, I'm with the voice of the community. Yeah, yeah, I'm with the voice. Not, I'm with the voice. Yeah, not, you're right, brother Willie. He is considered the community pastor because I asked him about an incident that happened on Columbia Street. And when I say Columbia, I mean Columbia and Bruton at the pool hall when there was seven people got shot and the one brother lost his life and they did not show up how they showed up at the Pulse nightclub. But he told me that uh, he was called. I saw him hugging Patty Shanahan and you know what I'm saying? But here's my thing. I'm asking you, I'm challenging you, Cabarrus, and Pastor Roundtree, and Pastor Stovall. I saw you on the news the other night when I researched this story about this young lady's son. And the child's name is Deshaun Miller. Deshaun Miller, that's D-E-S-H-A-W-N, Miller, M-I-L-L-R, please. This kid is sitting in jail, and they, the lawyers only visited him twice. And they are talking about uh, this child going to trial here next month or, or in August. And he has no, I mean, no credible legal representation. So this baby could still be saved. There's a sworn statement that says that he did not do it. There's video evidence from the store. The store that's located on Pine Hills Road, the Sitgo gas station. And I'll tell you guys the case. Let me I'm gonna stop right here, brother Willie said slow down. I'm gonna tell you this. To be right and this to the listeners too, right? Like I say, I I show always gonna be all gas, no break. But being that I done been caught up in the system. Yes, sir. I'm gonna say this. Mm -hmm. The 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 help the help from the community from Pastor Stovall point of view. I'm speaking on Stovall right okay. now. Okay. Because you call, that's that's who behalf I'm coming on. Just Stovall? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't care how you address the rest of I wasn't no, finished no, 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 with no, no, Stovall, no, no. though. I'm, See, I'm, I, on this behalf. Stovall and I are cool. Yeah, no, I no, swear no, no, to God. No, 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 I ain't oh, saying that okay, all right. Cool. Okay. I'm just saying uh, that's, that's why I'm going to chime the, the else on the platform that you put there, they have left the people for dead. Oh, he okay. He had his chance to come out, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. And you got at least. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna say this. And this, and this. <laughs> Jacob, I love you, boy. <laughs> so, pastor Solar, I'm gonna say this because he's mentioned only pastor, right? Yeah, um, yeah. When you say about this kid, well, like, I wasn't. When finished. you know you dressed yeah. like the kid, yeah. I'm say this he's him. a baby. I'm gonna say this him. As far as the law, right, in him sitting, mm -hmm. right. It's probably nothing that could be done as far as letters and the petitions and stuff that I keep trying to get. Because once he's been charged and the state has taken. Uh, now they're charging uh, him as an adult. Too. And they done did all that through the. But see, you got to understand that they don't charge. This is what people that are considered snitches, mm -hmm. they don't understand yet. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Law enforcement can't help you once you're charged. They can make you am broken promise in the world. They cannot help you. They cannot go to a judge and tell a judge, hey, Theo has given me this much information. Give him five years. Wow. Only no thing, no matter I've how done, much so. evidence, no matter what you do yeah. for law enforcement. Yeah. And I want everybody, like I say, tell a friend to tell a friend to lock us in because we're going to touch on all this stuff, man. Your law enforcement can't give you no plea. 
They mm. can't even tell you, hey, if you do this here, we're going to get you three years, five days in line. Because guess what? Yeah. They got to go sell the story to the state to attorney. The state. To that, the state. It, that whatever you done sold them is the story that's going to sell to the jury to convict whoever you telling them. Okay. And if the state see fit, hey, we making them 13, 14 years. They make it. He done told you three, but the state got 13 on the table for you. Wow. But guess what? Even just say hypothetically speaking, the judge took the three. I mean, I mean, I mean the state took the took three. the three years. They gotta go to the judge, and the judge look at the crime and whatever you told him, and just say, the same, and say the I three? don't want the three, and you need you gonna get sentenced the way I sentence you under the guideline. The state is only giving the proposal. The police is only giving the recommendation. Dang. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. When you break down what I just said, yeah. you may understand what Damn. I said. You know what I'm saying? The police only can give a recommendation. At the end of the day. Is it, is you, your, your, your snitching ain't did nothing but got a whole bunch of people fucked up for nothing. Because the police, you propelled the police officer career because whoever yeah. you snitching to, he looking like the man that can break any nigga or white boy that come in his path. He can break them with this method. Yeah, cause he done broke so many of them. Yeah, he might got a track record of every ten. He gonna knock off eight. Yeah, they gonna start telling. So you know, through the police department, he become a we bad going, boy. We going he to a get bad boy. Show. Yeah, he a bad we boy. We going to get yeah, up. He's a bad boy. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, he ain't, he ain't doing nothing. He ain't doing nothing. Yeah, he ain't doing nothing. I got you. So I said all that to say this. With Jit, with, with the baby, baby, with the baby, with the baby, the support I, in the courtroom, yeah, would be nice. Okay. Letters to the judge would be nice. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, getting in and the people to start talking to the state attorney and all that, it'd be nice. But and as far as he's he gonna have to go to court. You gotta go to court. You gotta, yeah, you gotta go to court. You, you gotta, gotta go, go to court. court. You gotta go to court. You gotta go to court. Or unless the state just drop it, you know what I mean? Or the judge see fit that it should be a dismissal. But you gotta go to court. You gotta go to court. And then and then you can't like I have been caught up so much in the system, you know what I mean? I'd be like, when I if I get caught up, even though I'm right or wrong, you know what I mean? I I sit down and try to find me, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I say I ain't even gonna give these folks the credit that they want, you know what I mean? I'm sitting there going I got a question. Did you get in trouble as a juvenile? Or I got, not until after you were trouble, I got grown. Trouble, I got in trouble the same way you talking about this jit. I was a wow. juvenile. I was a juvenile. Wow. Bad as hell. 17 years old. Back then, you was hard to get weighed over. They had Mariana, Okeechobee, yeah. all the programs that you ain't want to go to. Yeah. And I told you to weigh me on. He weighed me on. But see, I'm older than you, but I had heard about and I'm going to share this live. I had heard about like some big robberies that went down <laughs> in that 700 block. Say, them just didn't play. <laughs> and you had a little click. I, now, I'm, I'm a lot older than you. Right, yeah. But I had heard of, I said, that little motherfucker, I said, a little boy. Because I remember the little boy. <laughs> I remember your yeah, look. You was little. Said, yeah, but then when I came back, you was grown. <laughs> right, right. I said, well, damn. Mm -mm. But then, no, your ass was in prison. Yeah, when I came, when I came back, yeah. I was grown. When, yeah, when yeah. I saw you, because remember, I saw you at the bar. You gave me the CD. Right, right. And I was like, oh, my God, you're alive. Because right, right. I had heard, I swear to God, I had heard you had <laughs> I did have like, like twice, <laughs> like two life citizens in 197 years. years. That's life. Yeah. That life yeah. Time so that, when I life. saw you up to the bar, I'm like, how the hell? I couldn't understand it. I got that. How the hell you was at the fucking bar and I just talked to him because I had just, when I saw you, I had probably been back like a month. Hold up. Guess what, y'all? We can get ready to stop this podcast. Yeah, let me get that. Me and Theo finna um, um, chop it up a little bit. We'll be back at y'all tomorrow, man. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Like I said, I want y'all to know this here too before I go, man. Listen. It's a, it's a young lady. 
from um Channel Nine News. She's starting her own TV show. She got me and um Theo. We the um uh, we the first f- first cast on that show. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm gonna start leaking her. And the Mahogany her. Bronze Hour. It's called the Mahogany Bronze Hour. No We're gonna share it from our page. There it is, right there. You gotta support the sister. Listen, ladies, ladies. Her first show, ladies, is gonna be about side. Well, one of her shows, not her first show. Her first show is gonna be about yeah, yeah. The first yeah. show is about me and Theo. Yeah, in the city of Orlando, what we trying to um do and help out really in the community. Y'all might see us turned up, you know what I mean? But you know, we just try to get the people what they want. You know what I mean? Us, you feel what I'm saying? I know y'all don't want no. No, 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 no water down all day. At no, all. No, I mean, At y'all all. don't want no Jerry you Springer don't want all that. day. You don't want no, no, you don't want no Jerry Springer all day. You don't want the news all day. You don't want to hear the radio all day. Sometimes you want somebody to come by like you by, you know what I mean? Sometimes you might even want to see me hit the joint. You might want to ride me, smoke me, you know what I mean? That's what it's going to be, you feel what I'm saying? You got your TV show. Once I get it like it's supposed to be, you feel what I'm saying? I'm going to cut it down for two hours and where we just vibing like, and everybody might get bored or whatever, you know what I mean? But we're going to try to keep it funky as possible, though, you heard me? And we're going to keep the topics right and everything going to be factual basis. I don't play no game. Come lie on people. Don't nobody lie on me. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to yes, you know we gonna come with paperwork. We're going to have facts. If I get to you, that's what it is. You hear? If I get to you, that's what it is. You know what I mean? And any nigga that want to challenge saying or not just nigga, if I'm using the word, I don't want to keep using that word on this thing. I am trying to prepare myself somewhere. So tell a friend to tell a friend to lock me in. I'm trying to go somewhere, you know what I mean? If I can do it right here, if I can do it on the rap screen, if I can do it with my books, if I can do it making my DVD, hey, I'm trying to wrap this thing like, like a brick, man, to take the shit off for real like it's supposed to be. Count. 